okay? Even though it's around his head. He may start to freak out because normally this is like what white belts do. They try to submit you real hard, it doesn't work, and then you just shrimp and you escape. And then you get your guard and then they lose control. So boom, I pass the guard, sorry about the knee of the head, get under the neck, boom, push the wrist, roll underneath, get the Americana, I'm holding him tight, he thinks he's okay, he's trying to escape, I go knee on belly, posture up, and get the submission, just like that. Ready? Yes. We're ready, John. I know we got to go. So we got to do, you all right? Don't fall yeah. down. Yeah. We got to do a quick video, buddy. Okay. All right? Are you shirt. focused? I'm ready. You're Hello. looking good tonight. I like how you were looking. We were doing a little bit of gi training tonight. Oh, Thanks, Fix your sleeve there. Thank okay. you, my friend. This will be Normally, we're, we're no gi school, but uh, we did a little bit of gi. Today, John little, did a little bit of the gi. Yeah. Today, a little bit of the a, gi. A little bit of that. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Are, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm focused. Are we excited. Let's go. Tell everybody. I'm excited. Okay. okay. Very good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. <sighs> Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? We we gotta go. We're, we're in a rush, so this one's gonna be a short one, guys. I always do long videos tonight. Just something real simple and small. Earlier today, I was working with little Megan, and um, the subject came up. So I just want to show you guys this little variation that I learned. Maybe. Uh, 10 to 15 years ago, there was a, a black belt, I don't even know his name, but he came in to Big John's when I was uh, the fight team coach over there, and I was actually teaching him, and he actually showed me this move kind of indirectly. I didn't even like ask him to show me, but it just popped up. So um, let me show you this. So real quick, just lay on your back, okay? Sometimes you guys get Americanas. Boom. You get the Americana, you keep the back, look at, I keep the back of his hand on the mat. I'm gonna apply my weight on him. I'm gonna drag his wrist down and lift the elbow up. Boom, I get a tap out. Now, everyone knows that. Real simple thing. But a lot of times when you guys are fighting. Hello. We're in the middle of a Teach Me Grappling video, just letting you guys know. All right, guys, they're here, so we gotta hurry. I go under the neck, I'm gonna smash with the shoulder. Control the wrist, push it down, grab the wrist. When you guys get the wrist here, you guys see this grip? I can get the wrist here. When I roll my hand inside and I make the Americana grip and you're looped around the head, there's a problem. You can't bring the elbow down. So when you try to Americana, it doesn't work. And the person laughs at you. And in their, <laughs> in their mind, Sometimes what happens is you want to loop your arm over and finish. But the thing is, sometimes they might even grab your arm. So yeah, you just hug it. So I can't take it off. And then in their mind, they're thinking, I'm safe. As long as he can't loop his arm off the head, you pull that down, just pull it down and even pin it with your head too. You can put weight on it with your head. See, I can't, and I can't do this. Now, why can I not do this? Because when I go far enough to where it starts to put stress, all he has to do to relieve a little bit of stress is just bridge his hip ever so slightly. And there's no stress on him. So guys, watch what I do to take it away and to make this finish work. All I do as I have this hold, I let him think he's fine and my right knee goes on the belly. Watch this, John. Boom. Right knee goes on the belly. I step up and I start finishing the move. And you guys get the tap, okay? Even though it's around his head, he may start to freak out because normally this is like what white belts do. They try to submit you real hard, it doesn't work, and then you just shrimp and you escape. And then you get your guard and then they lose control. So boom, I pass the guard, sorry about the knee of the head, get under the neck, boom, push the wrist, roll underneath, get the Americana, I'm holding him tight, he thinks he's okay, he's trying to escape. I go knee on belly, posture up, and get the submission. Just like that, guys. The knee on belly is gonna keep his hip down. If he can't lift his hip, I can finish the Americana by pulling. See, I'm pulling his head up. Try to move, try to escape. 
right there. It looks so simple. What would happen if you pushed, my, pushed me on the inside? Yeah? I could step over the head and go into arm bars and finish there. So you've got a little combination here in side control. Side control attack that maybe you're not used to doing. You guys get into here into half guard. He's holding my ankle. I get my knee into quarter guard. I push the wrist, boom. I control it. Now I've got the hold. Now I'm just using this as a hold. He's trying to move and I'm just looking here. I use my foot. Look what I'm doing, guys. I'm gonna use the hold to pass the guard. I escape, boom. I get my knee into side control, knee up on belly and get the submission right there, okay? A lot of people are gonna be susceptible to this. Your shoulder's okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of people are gonna be susceptible to this because they're gonna think they're okay. Because generally, it doesn't work. And we always teach, a lot of instructors teach to not be here and to loop over the head so that you can drag it down and lift it up and use lots of power and leverage. So this is a great new attack for you guys. So one last time, let's say I'm in half guard and just give you, throw you more, more bones to play with. Again, I'm in this position, guys. I'm smashing and trying to defend. Good, I'm trying to mount him. Look, he's here. I start to push his wrist down. Maybe you push my knee. You know, this is my attack to go for the Kimura. Boom, you move the arm up. I'm looking for this. Boom, he might even put his head inside. Boom, he puts his head inside. He thinks he's okay. So he can't get Americana. That's fine, perfect. I use the hold right here. My foot comes up. I start to pass. Boom, I'm over in the mount. He thinks I need to lasso it off. Forget about that. Dismount, knee on belly, posture. Try to move, you got it, you got it. If it comes off, boom, you're in trouble. Pull that elbow out. Oh, you still moving? Where do you straighten the arm? Oh, look, now I'm dropping it down into regular. Go ahead, loop it back through, trying to show a certain combination. Good, I'm going back here. Loop it, straighten out your arm. Straighten out your arm, boom. Keep moving. <laughs> and finish. It's okay. It didn't really work. <laughs> it didn't really, you didn't do exactly what I was wanting you to do. But it's okay. Okay? Last time. Here we go. Boom. Side control. Move. Move. Okay? Okay? Step around the head. Boom. Cut the wrist. Keep moving. Pass the wrist. Here you want to do that? <laughs> do it. It's okay. All right, guys, thank you so much. Again, hope, sorry, about that. <laughs> sorry about that, nice job. Hopefully this will help you guys out and you guys will get more submissions out there. You'll trick a guy here or there. So I'm not saying it's the best technique in the world. It's not something I do often, but it's always those little sneaky things that will help you get that one guy in class or maybe in a tournament. Thank you guys so much. Click that link down below at Patreon, PayPal. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure the alarm bells are on. Share this video with all your friends and family. And I'll see you guys next time with more. Thank you. Let's go eat. Out. <sighs>